Yes, it's an interesting sample, Barry. Uh, I'll uh, see you first thing on Monday morning, then. Uh, thanks, Dr. Bowen. Uh, well, uh, this... Is... This is the uh, part of the show where I read out viewers' letters, and uh, we've got we've got one here from uh, Pant Vest Comprehensive, where I uh, I used to teach. See what they say. Ah, dear dear Mr. Welsh, everybody on the staff clubbed together to buy you this leaving present. Yours sincerely, the headmaster. Oh yes, you see there was a, there was a bit of a mix-up at my uh, leaving party because everybody else went to the wrong venue. <laughs> Uh, and I went to the right venue, but I was the only one there, you know. But apparently they all had a marvellous time at my leaving party without me. So uh, that's, that's all right. Let's see what, the, let's see what they clubbed together to, uh, to get me then. After my 15 years of service at the... Uh... Yes, I know. <coughs> right, well... Uh... Moving on, then. Let's, uh, let's go over to the man with the memories, then, old Mr. Pretty boy, that. Uh, well, oh, you can call it that. He had an orphan, wasn't easy. Fortunately, I wasn't one. My parents belonged to a very strict religion. It had 157 commandments. The first one was that you are not allowed to do anything at all. The second one was, what are you looking at? <laughs> they were particularly keen on the 94th commandment. Thou shalt not break wind in the earth. <laughs> Flatulence was blasphemous. If anyone wanted to sneak a fart, he had to hang out of the bedroom window. <laughs> but we were happy. We used to make our own entertainment by banging on the wall and shouting, Shut up! to the family next door. But I'll never forget the excitement when, once a month, the van came up from Cardiff with the hot water for everybody <laughs> else to <laughs> 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 After the holidays had just started, for ten shillings you could spend two weeks wrapped up in brown paper. <laughs> but I don't want to paint too rosy a picture. Children were still being sent up chimneys, and then when central eating came in, they got sent down radiators as well. At school wasn't much fun either. They were very keen on self-discipline. If you were naughty, you had to ken yourself. It was a very tough school. They did teach the three R's, but one of the R's was arson. <laughs> The other R's were reading and writing, but you couldn't learn both. I learned to write, but I couldn't read any of it. I'd write an essay, and the boy at the next desk would have to tell me what it was all about. Good night, if you can call it that. Oh, you were dead, you boy. <laughs> Uh, and now let's meet my celebrity guest this evening. In uh, 1993, he won the Strangest Man in the World competition. <laughs> this year, he is the sixth strangest man in the world. <laughs> so please welcome Gary Taylor. <laughs> So, uh, 
the the uh, the sixth strangest man in the world are you I've been called worse but it's the strongest the... <laughs> oh I, I do apologize it's I, my wife you see writes out these no and I, sometimes I can't quite read her handwriting so uh, I'm so you're not even a little bit odd <laughs> so you're not, no so you Right, I'm very sorry. So the sixth strongest man in the world there, ladies and gentlemen. So things like getting the, the lid off a marmalade jar that hasn't been opened yet, that, that, I find that quite hard. I don't... I, is that... Now, you also competed in, in the Olympics, didn't you? That's right, yeah, the, back you, in my 84. That's right, 84 at uh, LA. And uh, you, you got the silver medal there, didn't that's you? That's right, yeah. Yes. Now, I, I know quite a lot of athletes use, uh, to help in their training, they, they use stereos, don't they? For... <laughs> I think you mean steroids. Oh, do I... <laughs> so these people running about with headphones on, that's... No. Um, how, how did you actually get into it? Was it sort of... I remember when I was a, a lad, there, was those, uh, there were those adverts in the back of magazines for... Was it Charles Aznavour? Atlas. No, Atlas. <laughs> Charles, Charles, uh, that's right. Do you get sand kicked? Did you ever get sand kicked in your face? I... No, no, no me, no, no. <laughs> they just, no, they just used to kick my face. It, uh, <laughs> you know. Not surprising. Cut, cut out the middle man, you know, as it were. <laughs> and um, I, I sent off for one of those bull worker things. Couldn't, couldn't get the box open. You see, I... <laughs> well, there we are. You eat, you eat quite a lot, don't you? To, uh, quite a lot, yeah. Yes. How many, how many meals a day do you get through? When you're in heart training, I think from six to seven meals a day. Really? Yeah. Yes, you're impressed, aren't you? <laughs> yes. What, what do you call them all? I mean, there's breakfast. <laughs> no, you know. And then it... What is it? Is it breakfast two, the sequel? <laughs> sort of? oh, you... Anyway. Gary Taylor, it, it's been very nice to talk to you, and I, nobody can say to you that you don't know your own strength, because he does, doesn't he, ladies and gentlemen? He's the sixth strongest man in the world. Gary Taylor. <laughs> and finally, then, let's go back to the Lookout Wales news desk with Pew Pew. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Lookout Wales News Roundup with me, Pew Pew. Three people were reported missing earlier today. They've last been seen at 3.37 at this bus stop. Immediately, police mounted a coordinated nationwide search across Fishguard. Painstaking forensic work led to a breakthrough, and the missing people were found unharmed at Fishguard bus station right before. A report out today from the Welsh Association for Neatness and Cleanliness, WANC, claims that Fishguard streets are full of litter. A spokesman for Fishguard Council dismissed it as rubbish. A television detector van was detected that it did not have a television detector van license was apprehended by television detectives today. A television detector spokesman said that as it was the only television detector van in the area, they would not be detecting any televisions for a while. <laughs> what? I haven't got a step ladder. I use a chair. What is I didn't break it? Look, I'm working. All right, please. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Fishguard Rat Society are treated to a special treat today by visiting dance troupe the Hawaiian Rat Crushers, performing a splendid rendition of the famous 1972 Gareth Edwards try against Scotland. <laughs> Now we have a special treat for our viewers. A clip of archive film showing Sir Anthony Hopkins' first ever appearance on stage. Anthony, give her the flowers. Give her the bloody flowers, man. <laughs> give her the bloody flowers. Come on. Thank you. Have you pissed yourself again? Oh, I think. 
Get off then, you dirty little bleeder. Go on, get off. And his best itself, everybody. Huh? Back in the office. On the piss from a very early age. What oh, sorry. I said that. I am now and I. Anyway, that's all we've got time for from Lookout Wales News Roundup this week. I'm Hugh Pugh, as ever. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Hugh. Well, that's all for this week. Uh, I'll be back uh, next week with uh, next week's show. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I know you're only a little one, but uh, I'm afraid I can't put you back. <laughs> so, uh, good luck. Good night.